Hi, my name's Matt and I'm here to talk to you about five processes to help a young child, let's say a four-year-old, stop biting her fingernails. So those five processes that we're going to talk about today are awareness training, daily goals, positive reinforcement, competing response training, and differential reinforcement of an other behavior. So let's say you have a four-year-old who bites their nails and it's a behavior that has been occurring for quite some time. The first thing to do then is to undertake something called a functional analysis. A functional analysis allows you to sit and observe the behavior of this child for a period of time and to establish what are the behaviors that cause her or what are the factors that cause her to bite her nails. Um, also then to define exactly what the behavior is, that is the biting of the nails. And then thirdly, what are the consequences of that nail biting? And often in that situation, it's the parental attention um, that can be one of the big consequences because people don't like to see their children bite the nails. So there are several interventions, as I mentioned, that you can use uh, to help a young child uh, stop biting their nails. The first one that I want to talk about is awareness training. So just like you would do with any other client or person you're working with, it's important to establish a rapport with the young child. Um, Awareness training is one way you can do that, where you explain to the child what the fingernail biting looks like, when it's occurring, try and establish when is it about to occur with that child so they understand what you're looking at. And then also with them perhaps establish some uh, uh, mechanisms or things you can do to help reduce them biting their nails. The second thing to do then is to work with that child to create some daily goals, make it like a game for them. Uh, The daily goals could be, for example, slowly reducing nail biting over a period of time, let's say a a four week period. It's important that you create um, it to be a fun environment. So one of the things you could do is to create a chart to establish that each day they get perhaps a sticker for when they meet that goal. And if they achieve five stickers, let's say in a week, they get a prize, for example, Um, chocolate, but you could talk to the child and see what it was that they would like as a prize. The next thing to talk about is positive reinforcement. So what's really important here is when a child meets their daily goal, it's important that the person who is working with them, so the parent or the teacher, praises them really, really um, um, uh, emphatically, really encourages them to see that their behavior is good. Uh, They can do that by uh, saying things such as, not biting your nails is really difficult, but you can do hard things. The next thing you can do then is to think about establishing a competing response. So because fingernail biting involves the nails on the hand and the mouth, you could establish a response uh, whereby uh, they're using the same digits and the mouth. So for example, using a stress ball that they could squeeze and perhaps put in the mouth. Or an even better, healthier example, that's dependent on how hungry they are or not, you could use things like vegetable sticks and encourage them to eat the vegetable stick instead of chew their nails. The last thing we're going to talk about is differential differential reinforcement of an other behavior. So this is really important that you do some baseline uh, observations first to establish what's the average time period in a particular time frame. So let's say 30 minutes. What's the average number of times that that child bites their nails in that time period? So for a week, perhaps uh, measure uh, the number of times that child uh, undertakes nail biting in that time period and then divide that number or add them up, sum them up and divide that number by the number of days to give you the average number of times that a child is biting their nails in a time period. That can help you establish the sort of average time it takes or the average time between each nail biting uh, period. That's really important for us using DRO because that average time period, the DRO time period, um, is um, really substantial for us to identify when we're gonna reinforce in a time period that is less than that DRO. So once we understand what the average is, we can then identify a time that is less than that DRO, and that's that time period where we'll be reinforcing the child um, every so often. Uh, The next thing you're gonna do then is to uh, ask the parent or the carer, whoever is looking after the child, uh, to sit with the child for a defined period of time, let's say 30 minutes, and put a timer on, they can use their mobiles, um, and that will actually encourage them to think about when they're praising the child or not as well. They put the mobile on, for example, let's say that the average time for a child for biting the nails was three and a half minutes in that time period. We could set the time period then for a three minute period. They set their timer on their mobile phone for a three minute period. In that three minute period, they're just observing the child in their natural setting. If the child carries on and they don't bite the nails in that period, at the end of that three minutes, you praise the child emphatically as well and say, excellent, well done for not biting your nails. 
At that point, you reset the time period again, and another three minutes continues until the end of that 30 minute period. If, for example, the child in that period bites their nails, all we do is ignore the behavior, reset the timer back to wherever we are, back to the zero point, doesn't matter where we are in it, and then once the fingernail biting has stopped, push stop and allow that three minute period to start again. And again, ending your time period in that 30 minute period in this example. What you can do over a period of time is if the child begins to get really good at this in the three minute period and you end up praising them every three minute period in, in the 30 minute total period, you can extend that period for the DRN, uh, DRO interval. So maybe you move up to five minutes, then up to 10 minutes. And you only extend it once the child is getting praise um, most of the time in those periods as well. There you have it. Those are five ways that you can help a young child interact and change their nail biting behavior. Thank you.